Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. And today I wanted to show you how to install Recall Box on your Raspberry Pi 1, 2, or Raspberry Pi 0. Now I'm using a Raspberry Pi 2. This is another version of Emulation Station, but it has Kodi built in, which is super awesome because you can switch right from the menu straight to Kodi to watch your movies and then switch back, play some video games. So let's get right into it. Um, you're going to need no extra tools at all, so that's a plus with this one. Um, I'm using an 8GB SanDisk SD card, super cheap on Amazon. We're going to need the install files, so you're going to want to open up whatever browser you use and go to recallbox.com. We're going to go right over to the top here, do-it-yourself recall box. We're going to scroll down here. We're going to click on the GitHub links, and I'm using version 3.3.0, beta 17. Now, I have already downloaded the zip file that it comes with, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I've placed it on a in a folder on my desktop. Now, it comes zip, so let's go ahead and unzip it. Okay, so as you can see here, um, the folder that you, uh, the file you unzip has all these in it. All you're going to want to do is go ahead and copy and go straight to your SD card and paste. All right, now that it's done copying, what we're going to have to do is take the SD card from the PC or laptop, place it into the Raspberry Pi, and boot it up. I'm going to do that now. Okay, so this is the first boot um, of the Raspberry Pi 2 running recall box. I have my Ethernet plugged in, my wireless keyboard, and my Xbox 360 wired controller. Now, in order to put ROMs on the unit itself, you need internet set up on your Raspberry Pi 2. It uses network sharing. So let me go ahead and fast forward this and we'll get into the OS, show you how to put ROMs on it, and you'll be good to go. Guys, this is the first boot after the SD card install. We want to go ahead and set up our controller. So I have my ethernet, my controller, and my keyboard plugged into the Raspberry Pi unit. So from your keyboard, press enter, scroll to controller settings, and use the S key to select, configure controller, S one more time, and it shows me that it has found my controller. Now I need to set up the keys. So I'm gonna hold the A button, and just follow the on-screen prompts, and you should have no problem. Up, down, right. All right, so now that that's set up, I'm gonna go back. Um, now in order for you to put ROMs on the unit, you want to make sure that your internet is connected. Now I'm connected with ethernet and it is connected. You wanna note your IP address and your host name because you're gonna be installing from your PC over network. So let's go back. Okay, so before I add ROMs, I'm going to go ahead and go to my system settings. I'm going to overclock. You don't have to overclock if you don't want to, but it makes gameplay a lot smoother. All right, so now that that is done, um, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the PC so we can load some ROMs. We're back at the PC. Let's go ahead and load some ROMs. Now I have set my ROMs in a ROM folder on my desktop. Now this is one of the coolest parts about Recall Box. My, re my Raspberry Pi is still powered on with Recall Box hooked up and I'm running it with an Ethernet cable. This will work over Wi-Fi also. So what you want to do is go ahead and find the ROMs that you want to install. Go ahead and open up a browser window. 
and type in forward slash forward slash recall box. Now we are in my recall box that's set up and powered on. So you can go here to monitoring. See, um, you, you know, this is amazing. They, they really did some work to get this running like this. So in order to install ROMs, you just want to go ahead and click on the ROMs folder up here. Find which ROM you want to install. I'm going to go with SNES. I'm going to highlight these. I'm going to find my SNES folder here. I'm just going to drag them over. All right, let's go back to my ROMs on the browser here. Let's find my Nintendo 64, which is here. I'm going to go back, 64 ROMs, drag them on over. Very slick setup. I mean, this is awesome. I do miss the SD or the USB install, but okay, so this one didn't work, but that's all right. Didn't install there. Must be the wrong format. Let's go back here and we're going to load up my NES ROMs here. And we'll just drag them on over. And now your ROMs are installed on the recall box and they're on the SD card for good to you reformat it. Uh, I'm going to bring you back over to the recall box now and we are going to see how these ROMs perform. Now that we have the ROMs loaded onto the SD card over the network, um, they're on the SD card for you to play. You may have to reboot one time to get them to show up. As you can see, we have Nintendo 64 showing up now. And let's go ahead and test these emulators out real quick. We'll start with uh, NES. And I'll play some Mega Man 5. All right. Let's see if our controls are working. My joystick and my D pad is working perfectly. Oh my gosh. Robot Tigers. Now the problem here is I have the uh, shoot button set up as my B and my jump is my A so it's a little off for me. Just need to get the hang of it. That was horrible. So you can see this plays very well. Let's go test out some uh, SNES now. I'm going to back out of here with B on the controller. And I'm going to try some Joe and Mac.
This was one of my favorite games. So you guys can see this is running really good. Um, so no problems with running uh, SNES and NES games. Now let's go ahead and test some N64 games, or at least just one game. Go ahead and back out of here by hitting the escape button on the keyboard or start and select on the controller. Ran into some technical difficulties. My game capture wouldn't capture the screen at the resolution that the N64 emulator was putting out, and it was running super slow anyway. Uh, if you want to run N64 on anything, I suggest getting an Android TV box, Amazon Fire TV. Amazon Fire TV 2, the um, new NVIDIA Shield console, or even a Android phone that's able to output over HDMI or MHL. Now, my old Galaxy S4 ran N64 fine, Dreamcast, and PlayStation, so... Problem is, really, the hardware of the Raspberry Pi. This is the Raspberry Pi 2 with the quad-core. It's just not a powerful unit. Um... So I suggest getting something else if you want to play all of those full speed with great sound. So one thing I wanted to show you guys was a uh, Kodi Media Center built into this recall box. Now there's a bunch of great features for this, the um, the online adding ROMs and everything, but this has Kodi. So go ahead and press start on your controller or enter on your keyboard. And right at the top here it says Kodi Media Center. Press A on your controller or S on your keyboard. The Kodi 14.2 Helix. And um, you can run your videos or programs. You can watch videos, play music, watch pictures off a of USB or the SD card. Uh, I don't use Kodi myself. I have a TV that you plug a USB stick into and it plays pretty much anything. I have a tablet, my phone, my Xbox One my computers, so I really don't have a need for Kodi. But I do see a lot of people using this, and um, this one is a, is a great add-on to have. Uh, if you want to run some emulators, and then you feel like watching a movie, you don't have to swap out an SD card. It's built right in, so that's an awesome feature with this recall box. Let me go back out here. Exit. So that's pretty much it. Um, I have tested the Nintendo 64 doesn't run good at all. Game Boy Advance works great. Uh, Sega Master System, Neo Geo, MAME, Atari, Super Nintendo. Um, all the older emulators, all the older consoles, the emulation is spot on with the Raspberry Pi 2. Um, anything newer than the N64, it really has a hard time rendering uh, the sound and video just due to the... Um, Lack of optimization from the developers, and the unit is very low power. So like I said, if you really want to get into emulation, I suggest you getting an Amazon Fire TV 1 or 2, or even that new NVIDIA Shield system is amazing. So if this helps you out at all, um, if you could help me out and hit that like button and subscribe, that would be awesome. I got a lot more coming. Um, I will show some more stuff running on RetroPie. And this, which is Recall Box, um, I've just been real busy lately. So appreciate you guys watching, and thanks.